This is the Doctor, continuing the Battle Brothers Season 13 playthrough. Before we get to the actual episode, I want to get a few bookkeeping things out of the way. This is a part of the episode where I will break the fourth wall. So, uh, I want to uh, call out that I renamed some characters per your request. So, uh, Von Saylitz, welcome. And I think it was Co. I renamed your... Uh, Last name to Norman for North Man, like the Normans of, well, Normans of Normandy and of uh, Sicily, like Robert Giscard. But anyway, um, uh, I think that's mostly it in terms of the characters. There were many, many submissions for names, and I will do my best to uh, bring in some of the newer folks, uh, as well as mixing some of the longtime viewers. Uh, but there was such an outpouring of name requests that I don't actually think I'll be able to accommodate everyone in this playthrough. You never know. Characters could die. And then, you know, Von Saylitz here could die. And then you would get his slot. So what you need to do is pray to Dovkul that, like, everybody just dies. And that way you can get your name in the character pool. I want everybody to be rooting for drama. Except dogs. No dogs. You can never root for a dog to die, okay? I'm still not over Fenrir, even though we have Misty. Uh, and the last thing I want to say is I have been continuing to tweak my audio settings. Uh, there are some updates in OBS or the NVIDIA noise removal thing, or I don't know what's going on, but I've been having issues with audios. I think by this episode, things are better than the first couple. I actually recorded, like, some content before I even posted them, and they were even worse. So all these software updates have been a bit of a struggle, but I'll uh, continue to make some tweaks here and there uh, with the audio. And as a last reminder, this series is not going to see daily uploads um, at least past the first couple days. Uh, it's going to be much more relaxed. Um, there will be more time between the uploads. I might do some other games like Gloomhaven in between here and there uh, and there will be more cut content like I'm at a stage of the game where I'm pretty much not going to record Brigand Thug fights anymore um, maybe one more and I will always record the first time I fight something like if there's five nomad outlaws or whatever or not outlaws the tier one nomads whatever they're called uh, I'll record those even though they're way weaker than us. Five Nomad Outlaws would actually be pretty interesting. We could beat them, but it'd be pretty brutal. Uh, anyway, on with the show. So, welcome back to the saga, everyone. Uh, we have our designated scribe, uh, Night War, who's a monk, who's in fact the only person in the company who even knows how to read and write? He's the only literate man. Now, something like literacy would get you, like, killed if you're living among the barbarian tribes. You're useless and weak and scrawny. But here in the South, uh, they put a great deal of stock into writing things down on these parchments and with ink. And, oh, I know, I know, Aya, you don't even want to listen to this. But the bottom line is Night Warg is going to transcribe the events of our company into a saga for us. And while I'm not around, Night Warg's in charge, all right? Everybody, listen to Night Warg. He's the second in command. Um, and speaking of which, we have a new contract to um, drive out the whatever is infesting these ruins, the beekeeper near Tentlingen. So, could be brigands, it could be something worse. But it doesn't matter. We have our forces equipped to deal with any sort of nonsense that could be hiding out in the ruins. So our new recruits, except for Apple, are in the front. Apple's in the back. Um, he's got the war dog. He is a kennel master, a hound master. So when he unleashes Misty, Misty's going to be confident. Everybody, I want you to cheer on our mascots. Oh, look at that. Um, this beekeeper is infested by webnecks. Some webnecks. Seven of these things. All right. This is a new enemy, men. Uh, now, none of you have even seen a webneck before. 
What do you do against these things? What are they even? Well, they're spiders, okay, big spiders. And what they like to do is they like to get up in your face and then attack you. But we're not gonna let them do that. Now, the commander is desperately trying to remember exactly how much a web net can move before netting you. I believe it's three spaces, men. So what you need to do is you need to fall back at least four spaces. So, and web necks are always gonna be faster than you, men, okay? That's just the reality of dealing with these things. Um, the flanks are gonna be a bit of a problem. So Apple, why don't you fall back further? Seal, um, why don't you stay in the middle here? Vaughn say, let's come back. A night work, come back as well. Rippy, the high ground is tempting, but these beasts are clever. Oh, here they come. All right, there is no defending against these beasts. So, Apple, why don't you come up and unleash a uh, Misty with confidence. Misty, get him! All right, Misty, you missed, but that's okay. You're confident. That's what matters. Von let's unequip your shield. You don't need n you don't need nonsense like shields in this battle. Night War, pull out your club and run up. Uh, get in the face of these brutes. Rippy, wait. You're probably going to go quick. Tim, swing away at a webneck. Sergey, unequip your shield. Yes, good job, Sergey. Yeah, cut down. Is that your first kill of the campaign, Sergey? Um, no, you actually have uh, four kills somehow. Wow, incredible. Nightwork's the one who ha doesn't have any kills. He is, after all, our uh, scribe. He's our monk, so I wouldn't expect him to have any kills. Aya cuts down one of these webnecks. Seal, buddy. Get him. Okay, this one's uh, got a sprained ankle, but we're not gonna let it do anything. Rippy and I see our boat gonna go quick. Cut these monsters down. Rippy. Wow, executed that webneck with your mace. Good job, buddy. All right, a couple more of these clowns are coming. They're doing footwork nonsense. Misty, get him! Yes, good dog. Good Misty. Von Salitz cuts another one down and then stabs one right in the ear. Uh, Night War, why don't you come and free uh, Apple here? And this last web neck is not really going to do much, but mm, we kind of want all the web necks to come in. Come and get it. So, we're going to, this battle is basically over at this point. But we are going to um, see if the rest of these Wemnecks wanna come in. We have no need to attack just yet. All right, come. They're still doing their nonsense. Sailitz comes up, Night Warg, free up Aya, Apple, him. Let's make sure we can surround these web necks. Oh, Aya split that shoulder. I don't even know where these spiders are getting shoulders to be split, but that is what it is. Well done, by Sailitz. Are they fleeing? Mm, something like that. The rest of this battle is uh, trivial at this point. So you know what, Night Warg? You're in charge now. Well done, everyone. Not a single brother even got hit from these puny spiders. Didn't get much in the way of loot, but got some gossamer and poison glands. Night Warg was able to supervise the cleanup of those uh, spiders. Uh, one or two managed to flee from us, but that's not a problem. Oh, and then he needs, um, the townspeople need us to escort some men to actually repair the hive. All right, well, Sergey, 
Congratulations on gaining more experience. You need to strengthen your mind, buddy. You got some uh, mental issues there, so get dodge, learn how to avoid hits. You just need to be mentally tougher. Von Sadlitz. Good to learn how to take a hit or two. And then why don't you gain some skill to um, adjust your blows so that you're always landing your hits. And then Night Ward, buddy. Just be a little better overall. And then fortify your mind. You just need a hang in the back and supervise the squad. You use your brains to direct everybody else in battle. All right, we're gonna escort these worker caravans and then now we can finally go get paid. Best of all, there is a new contract in the town. What is this new contract? Weizenmark, where is that? Oh, that's all the way back there. Um, uh, we're not really going in that direction. Back to Weizenmark. Um, it's not really a whole lot of pay. And our goal is to discover a rune or hostile camp and destroy it. Um, that's what the men want. So delivering cargo does not help us complete that objective. Gaining a little bit of renown. We're still unknown, but... Making some progress there, so we're not going to bother with delivering this cargo. Let's just keep exploring around here. We could either go southwest or northeast from here. Why don't we go northeast a little bit first before we head south into the desert? Desert's a dangerous place. All right, there's a battle nearby, man. Look alive. There could be brigands. Mm. Ooh, tracks to the north. Could definitely be some brigands. That could be a good opportunity. Don't forget, there was a group of brigands here attacking peasants. So we should go, since we're in the area, take a little peek on this mountain and see what else we see. Hmm. If there are brigands, they may be somewhere in the hills and we're just not spotting them. Um, there's another town, Galbstad, to the east. and. Look at how big this trading caravan is. That means that town is a large town. Kind of like uh, Weizenmark. We could get a lot of work over there. So, men, just keep an eye out. There could be a brigand camp somewhere north of Tetlingen. Not confident we're strong enough to beat a uh, full-out brigand camp. We could take a small camp, but not a full-on camp. Let's just try to find some more work. Look alive, men. Look at this. South of us is the desert. The vast, blazing deserts full of these strange um, creatures like hyenas and snakes. And the men who live there are a hardy bunch. They may look scrawny compared to, you know, our brothers from the north, but don't underestimate them. They are a dangerous bunch. And we finally found Galpsod. Um, so let's see what sort of work this town has for us. Wow, quite a few possibilities, quite a few contracts. The tavern's telling us to settle down. Not yet, not anytime soon. There are many potential recruits in town. Um, and the marketplace, ooh, uh, there, um, it's a good opportunity to sell off our copper ingots and our poison glands and our gossamer and our woodcutter's axe. Don't need that buckler either, but let's keep the rest of this equipment. You never know if it may come in handy at some point. Let's see what sort of work we got. Brigands. Um, Runes of Krankenheim North of Gelbs. Oh, this could be a good, good contract for us. This one's of uh, follow the tracks. Okay, we can do that. And then I got a shipment of goods going to Sandwalk. We just can't afford to be uh, escorting caravans. We may be attacked by all sorts of uh, mercenaries or nobles. 
not worth it. But I will accept your offer. And so now I know Sandwalk is two days to the northwest. Oh, wait. Don't I know where that is? That's where Sandwalk is. Yeah, we don't want to go there anyway, but it might be relatively safe, actually. Also, Gelbstad appears to be right on the eastern edge of the map. There shouldn't be anything else past this. Hmm. We might head south. There could be some good trading opportunities there, but let's let's take out these um, brigands who have looted uh, goods first, and then we'll go take out the brigands near the ruins of Krakenheim. We could hire some more brothers to, but I suspect these brigands who have stolen the staff are not very strong. So. There's only seven of them. In fact, this is a trivial um, group of brigands to wipe out. Night War, why are you being charged of this? All right, the battle did not go quite as smooth when Night War was in charge. With the CEO, Von Zaylitz, and Tim, they all took hits, uh, which to me, you know, is rather um, poor considering we fought this type of brigand before with uh, barely taking any hits. So Nightwork is simply not as good of a commander, but that's okay. Um, he's got a lot to learn. He's, he's, he's still learning. I'm not super worried. Uh, our equipment is a little dinged up, but we can repair all this. And uh, Rippy's armor in particular is a little dinged up, but that is fine. Rippy, why don't you uh, wait in the back there, buddy? All right. And then Tim, yeah. Ooh, look at those hit points. I love it. What were you going to do? You could just be a little bit better. Especially get that resolve up, buddy. Okay, let's um go see if there's anything interesting in this uh, desert that we can fight. Uh, indeed, there is a nomad city with many outlaws, archers, and a leader. This is not the camp we can take right now. A bit of a shame, but you never know. They might send out a small group of nomads and we could uh, beat those. But for now, let's go back to Galbstad and go take the other contract. Back at Galbstad, we got paid our 260 crowns. Um, we chased the brigands very far, uh, for a rather a small amount of money, but we do need that money right now, and we need to build our renown. So, what else is going on in this city? A delivery to Tetlingit? We might actually go back there, so maybe. This one I won't just dismiss out of hand. They're looking to fire, uh, hire fighting men at the Hob, so that's one of the southern cities. We might go there soon enough. Uh, especially since we know this town, Galpsa, has a ceremonial season. So uh, we could potentially make money by selling incense here. Let's take the contract to go drive off the brigands at Runes of Kragenheim, north of Galpstad. And let's hire some more men, because this may be a tricky battle. There are some southerners here. But let's begin. There's quite a few options here would like a bowman of some type, but I'm not sure these are the uh, archers we're looking for. Welcome to the squad, our new recruits. Van Thorn, who used to be a butcher, and um, where are you? I... Low settings, welcome, who used to be a rat catcher. Pessimist rat catcher, but he's loyal. Van Thorn's a brute, so he does extra damage on a head hit, but eh, assuming he can even hit the head. Uh, now, and we have a contract, another contract to go clear out yet another camp of brigands at the ruins of Kragenheim. But before we get to that, I think it's time to review the biographies of some of our other men. 
we know about Night Warg, and we know about our starting brothers, our men from the north, the true Northmen. Um, but the other brothers, they're, they're training their way up to be Northmen. Let's see. Sergei, he used to be a miller. The life as a miller had always been lacking something for Sergei, yet the hard work kept him from making any big plans. One night he was awoken by a loud thunderstorm. Rushing outside, Sergei realized that his mill had been ignited by a lightning strike. Although he does not know the next thing about fighting, Sergei is eager to sign up with a mercenary company hooked by the promise of adventure. You know what? Adventure. That's the raider, the northern raider way. Very fitting, Sergei. And you may not know much about hitting, but you know a lot about dodging attacks. You didn't get hit by that lightning strike. So a very promising sign, buddy. You may have a future here, assuming you don't die horrifically in the next battle. Tim, he used to be a shepherd. Uh, who, and he is escaping his abusive uncle. Tim took the tranquility of being a shepherd. When hulking furry beasts slaughtered his flock, the shepherd was left looking for vengeance. Tim looks like he wouldn't hurt a fly, but with good training, you can see to it that he'll hurt a lot more than that. Yes, Tim. You do have the potential to hit really, really hard, buddy. I'm going to keep training you up. And then Von Seidlitz. He used to be a juggler. Visited by a troop of jesters, Von Seidlitz was most enamored and eventually taught by one particularly interesting man. A juggler. Uh, sadly, Von Zaylet's skill in juggling led to much jealousy among his fellow jesters. They conspired against him and his poor wrists. Now Von Zaylet finds respite in the company of equally down on their luck men. Hmm, I don't know. Sergei's story about the lightning strike and wanting adventure is very fitting. And uh, Tim, of course, he's going to learn how to hurt things. But I'm not impressed, Von Zaylet. I'm not impressed by your backstory. You're going to have to prove yourself. For us so uh, and then I know we have some more brothers but I feel like you need to you need to have earned your chops in a few battles you know Apple Von Horn uh, Von Thorn and low settings um, you're too new to the squad okay the men don't respect you until you've proven your chops and if any of the veterans want me to uh, tell a story about their background just put it in the chat uh, putting a YouTube comment, and I'll make something up and feature one of uh, you in the next video. So, thank you for watching. Until next time.